Right, so in this session we're going to teach you about performing CPR correctly on a patient in cardiac arrest and how to maintain their airway and ventilate them. Um, we've set up this mannequin so they are in full cardiac arrest, the defibrillation pads have been attached, so we're just going to carry on from there really. Okay, okay so yeah. when I will go through the CPR with you, the chest compressions, and we will do the airway and the ventilation. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the key thing for us, yeah. we're going to be concentrating on doing the chest compressions. Right. Okay. So, hand position is really important, and how, how much depth we're going to give to each compression, what speed we're going to do the compressions at as well. So all of those aspects are really important, because the purpose of what we're trying to do is maintain circulation around the body, yeah. um, until help arrives, and then until we can treat whatever the cause of this cardiac arrest is. Okay. okay? So we've got the defib set up, as Andy said. So what we're going to do now is just look at the chest, Okay, so we're going to split the chest in half and then we're going for the bottom half. Right. Okay, so it's one hand on top of the other. Interlock them like that, whatever's comfy really, but that tends to be better because we're going to get hot and sweaty, so mm -hmm. better control. And that weight is going to come through the heel of the hands. Okay. Okay, so when we're in position, lock the elbows and then try and be over the patient. So the weight is coming through your shoulders and your back is straight. Because what a lot of people do, if you're doing that the whole time, your back is curved, yeah. you're going to get tired very quickly. And potentially, if there were only two of us, we're going to be doing compressions for a long time until the team arrive. Okay. So we need to maintain good quality compressions the entire time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we split the chest, and we're going here, and then we're going to press down about five to six centimetres, and we're going to do 30 compressions to two breaths at a rate of about 100 per minute. Okay. Okay, so that's, that is quite quick. So... It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's useful to count out loud while you're doing it. Okay. So when it comes to 27, 28, 29, 30, those doing the, the breaths are in position ready to go. Because what we want is minimal delay between the compressions and the, um, the airway yeah. and, and the breaths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sense, yeah. okay. 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 So right, for the airway, um, again, important that we keep the patient oxygenated. And so these are the pieces of equipment we use. Mask okay. that fits the patient. Quite easy to fit it. It should fit over the face. It shouldn't overhang the chin. Um, and there should be no significant leaks around by the eyes either. This okay. Okay, so you need to fit it and put it on the right way as well. A lot of people do put them on the wrong way. It's quite easy. That's a pointy bit. The nose is the same, so that goes over the nose. Mm -hmm. Okay. The self-inflating bag. bag. You can use these very useful pieces of equipment. You can use them without an oxygen supply or with an oxygen supply. In a cardiac arrest situation where there is an oxygen supply, you always connect it up and run it at 15 litres a minute, okay, even if okay. the patient has got a respiratory condition. And maintaining an airway is the, what, one of the most important things is positioning the patient correctly. Okay, you nice. can make it difficult for yourself or you can make it easy. The easiest way is to keep one pillow under the patient. I often okay. found that people would rip the pillows out, making it very difficult. So keep one pillow under the patient, roll it under the neck so that the head, head extends with gravity. Because what position is best to maintain an airway? Um, with the chin forward. Yep, that's it. So that gravity does that a little bit mm -hmm. for you. You might have to help it along a little bit. But pop the mask over the patient's face Two fingers, the angle of the jaw, right here just by the ears, because you want to lift that mandible up, mm -hmm. both sides, so your hands are more or less vertical and the heel of your hands go on the hard bit of the mask. Okay. Okay? Yep. Don't touch this gasket. Right. Okay, and make sure these fingers aren't touching any soft tissues. Okay, all of that will hinder you, your ability to maintain this airway. So, okay. I'll just show you. So, the movement you're doing is you're pulling the head back, you're lifting the mandible up and you're squeezing the mask down. So you're doing that kind of movement. Okay. okay. It is quite, it's quite a physical movement, so don't worry about hurting the patient. It's very important that the airway is maintained. Okay, so there you go, I'm happy. Give that a squeeze. Okay, and it's just enough for a chest raise. Yeah. See that? So you don't need to use the whole bag. Okay. Yeah? No okay, you're happy. I'm going to go with that again. That's it. Okay. So, oh, right thank there. you. You have a go with that. The mask. Tell me when you're happy. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Okay, 
trees. And that's when you know you, you've got a decent air where you can see the chest rise quite easily. There's not a great deal of effort in squeezing the bag. Yeah, and there's no noises coming from the airway either. Fab. Okay. okay. What kind of noises do you think you'd get from an airway as you ventilate it? For patients, you know, they lost consciousness before they went into a cardiac mm. arrest. What could they? What could have happened? Um. In terms of the tongue, the tongue could have gone back to yeah, the throat. Okay. Yeah. Um, which would have stopped them then breathing. Yeah. So it would have been an obstruction. Yeah, good. So by lifting the mandible up, you're pulling that out of the way. Mm -hmm. What else do you think you can gather in the airway? Um, secretion. Secretions, okay. Yeah. So that's why we have this here. Okay, you always very should always be at hand, available and working. Okay. In clinical areas. So when you do have a cardiac arrest, you use this piece of equipment, Yanka Seco with suction. And what you need to do is check the airway and clear any secretions that you see. Okay? And just clear where you can see. Don't push this too far back. Okay. It'll cause trauma to the airway and then a nightmare. Okay? Here you Bye. go. Thank you. You can put it all together now if you want. Girls? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You okay. can see that just with two of you, you can run the cardiac arrest. Yeah. Just, just keep that on your arm, is there? Yeah. Make sure this is straight on. Okay. There you okay. go. Okay. So you, okay. do you want to... Get into position with your yeah. hands. Get yourself in a comfortable That's position. That's it, so one on top of the other. Yeah. Weight's coming through here. Save Elbows back. locked, weight through your shoulders. And then how far down, do you remember what we said? How uh, far down? About five to six centimetres. That's it. Yeah. There we are. So do you want to have a couple of goes? Because it'll take you a couple of tries to get the feel for how much pressure you need to apply. Yeah. That's it. Right. So a little bit further down. That's it. And that's about the speed. So that's it. Just keep okay. these locked. Yeah. And then we're going to do 30 of those. Okay. So should we do 130 with two breaths and then we can yep. put the defib and things yep. on then? Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press okay, the everyone clear? Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shock delivered. Back Pause. Chest, please. Start CPR. That's it. So interlock one hand on top of the other. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. And your hand is located about a third down in the chest. That's fine. Okay, so you want to make sure that... So you what speed are you going now? 27, 28, 29, 30. So if you want to just place the mask on the patient's face so you can Stop see that. that you can do that. Lovely. Okay, so put your heels with the hands. That's it. Put fingers at the angle of the jaw. Happy? Yeah. Two breaths. Back on the chest. Okay, back on the chest. So what speed are you doing this now? Uh, 100 beats per minute. Okay, and how many compressions okay. to how many breaths then? 30. Okay. That's it. So keep your elbows locked, and then the weight is all coming through your shoulders. Okay. You feeling okay? 29, 30. Yeah, I'm fine. Back on the chest. Okay, so back on. That's it. Because all you're doing is holding this airway open. And the flow of oxygen will provide the patient with some oxygen, okay? No problem. 24, 25, 26, 30. Okay. Back on the chest again. No, that's it. So your hands comfortable like that? Right. Yeah. Good. That's it. So keep your elbows straight. That's it. All right. Yeah, that's fine. And then your back is straight, so you can keep going longer then. Good. Keep them safe. That's it. Well done. Should the bag be on the side or does it matter? It doesn't matter where it is, it's fine as long as um, somebody can reach it. Make sure this is a two person second. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So um, you always maintain that. That's fine, whatever is comfortable for you really. Okay. That's fine, so back on. So how far down on the chest do you go in? Uh, about five centimetres. That's it. Yeah. That's it, and keep your elbows straight, that's it. Easy, it's easier if you tilt the head back. Yeah, it is. Stop CPR. So do you want Analyzing to this heart now? rhythm. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what it says now. Stay clear of patient. So the oxygen's away? Yeah. Analyzing yeah. heart rhythm. No shock advised. Pause.